Greetings all! In this video I'm going to be adding to my Battle Sisters force with a member of the Ecclesiarchy. A preacher, in fact. Now I had this idea in mind of a travelling preacher taking the word of the Emperor to the depths of underhives or to desolate mining worlds. And this model from the Gene Stealer cult sprang to mind, the Reductus Saboteur. With their backpack and thick, tattered cloak, I feel this model can easily be turned into a roaming priest of the Ecclesiarchy. But first, I will need to cut off some of the cult icons. So, using my clippers, I can snip off the icon on the bottom end of the torso piece. I'm also going to use my knife to remove the raised little socket, or whatever it is that's on the right hand side of this breastplate. It's not essential, but small changes can help move the model away from its original purpose. So I took it off. Making some cuts to get the bulk of it off, I can then scrape the area with my knife to form a nice smooth section. With the icon and the knobbly bit off, I can glue the front and back of the torso together with some plastic glue, and it's on to the first of my priestly icons. I'm going to take this little inquisitional symbol from the front of this Battle Sisters bolt gun. Using clippers to take it off, I also shortened the chain on the waist a little bit so that the symbol could sit against the leg, giving it a bit of a better area to bond to. With that trimmed, it can then be glued in place. The Preacher has a couple of weapon options, and honestly one seems way cooler and better than the other, so I'm going to make myself a Zealot's Vindicta from this here Flamer taken from the Escher Gang upgrade sprue. It looks a little more ramshackle than the Battle Sisters ones, and it fits the aesthetic I'm going for here. Although, I am going to trim off the feathers on the bottom, as the Vindicta has a melee component, which I will be attaching to the bottom of this. Taking this spare halberd I have from the Celestian Sacrosant squad, I am going to trim it down to just behind the power pack area, and then snip off the axe part of the halberd with my clippers also. This will leave me with a sort of bayonet with the Sormoritas symbol halfway down it. And using my knife, I can trim and shave the sides that the axe part came from to get a nice fit to the front end of the flame. It took a couple of comparisons between the parts to get a nice smooth fit, but once I was happy, I could add some plastic glue to bond them together. To help hide the join between the parts a little, I'm going to take this extra from the Heavy Intercessor kit. I think it's a reader of some sort, but I figure it would work nicely on the side of the flamer. Perhaps a heat gauge, or something to adjust the power of the weapon. Either way, I would need to take off the little knobbly bit at the top that would normally attach it to a belt. And with that done, it can be glued in place on the side of the flamer. Now, to fit the Escher arms, I needed to trim the strap for the backpack a little, as the saboteur arms go out sideways. This could be done by making a series of small trims and scrapes with my knife, bringing in the arm every now and again just to check the fit. Once that has been trimmed nicely, the arms can be glued into place. I found it was best to do them both at the same time before they had fully set in place, as then it can be repositioned without too much effort. And once the arms are in place, the cloak can then be glued onto the back. Once this was done, however, I noticed that the back of the left arm had a little bit of a gap, so took some modelling putty and squidged it into place just to fill that up. Taking a little more of my modelling putty, I made a ball shape and dropped it into the neck area, as there's quite a sizeable gap in there from the original head. I gently pressed this to form a slight bowl shape in there. Now, the head I'm planning to use is this one from the Battle Sisters kit. The hair is quite short, and that eye patch will lean into the backstory of a roaming priest. This could just be pushed into the putty before it sets, and positioned appropriately. Now once the putty has set, you might need to just pop it off and add a bit of super glue, but I found that it held quite well. For the gap on the leg where the saboteur's tools go, I was hoping to find some of the long pouches from the reavers kit that I had lying around. However, I could not, so I opted to instead snip off the dynamite stick and the grenades from the tools, and then I could use my knife to clean the area. I figured that the tools for bomb making could also work for extracting a confession from some suspected heretic or other, and then I glued them in place on the leg. The next piece of this puzzle here would be the backpack. Like the toolkit, it has some bomb making equipment that could be easily removed with some clippers. Although I suppose wires could come in handy for electrocuting suspected heretics. Once I had this backpack glued in place, 
I thought that it looked a little bare now. So I have a standard guard issue water canteen from an old Imperial Guard sprue. Cleaning up the edge where it was cut from a set of pouches in a previous kit bash, I glued it onto the side of the backpack, as every good traveller needs to have a supply of fluids with them. Now, the only other thing I did to this preacher to finish it off was to take a big old scroll from one of the belts in the Sisters Repentia kit, and I attached it to the side of the flamer to help hide the join a little more. Sadly, the camera had turned off at this point, and I did not notice, so I don't have footage of that. I am sorry. And with a lick of paint and a base to match the rest of my army, this preacher is ready to head out into the galaxy to spread the word of the God Emperor, by force if necessary, and to purge the mutant, the alien, and the heretic with righteous fire or a swift stab from a powered bayonet. A big thank you to everyone watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons, and a huge thank you to those who have done so already. I am off to purge the galaxy of some heretics, or lose horribly due to forgetting most of my army rules again. So until next time, stay safe and have a good one all.